When horror writer Stephen King was asked what scares him the most, he answered simply, dementia. As the population ages, it's becoming more important than ever to identify strategies to prevent cognitive decline in the elderly. Now, a study out of the Mayo Clinic, appearing in the Journal of Neurology, attempts to identify factors associated with cognitive decline in this population. The study was well conducted, but suffers from a common error in interpretation, which I think bears some discussion. The big question was whether cognitively stimulating activities like arts, crafts, and even computer use would stave off dementia. And indeed, that's what they found. But let's dig a little bit deeper. The authors enrolled 256 participants from Olmsted County, Minnesota. They were all between the ages of 85 and 89, and they were all free of cognitive impairment at baseline. They were followed for about four years, over which time just under half developed mild cognitive impairment. And as I said, they found that these cognitively stimulating activities were protective. This supports a lot of prior research, and the authors probably could have stopped there, but they didn't. And here's where the statistical trap comes in. They wanted to know whether the timing of the cognitively stimulating activities made a difference, midlife versus late life. To use crafts as an example, the authors state that you have to do your crafts both in mid and late life to get any protection. Doing them in late life alone doesn't work. But let's take a look at this figure. As you can see, the people who did crafts in both mid and late life had a statistically significantly reduced risk of developing mild cognitive impairment compared to people who never did crafts. If you look at the people who did crafts in late life only, that difference is not statistically significant. But again, it's compared to people who never did crafts. In statistics, you can't compare two groups by looking at their relationship to a third group. You have to compare them directly or else you can get into trouble. By my math, if we compare the mid and late life crafters to the late life crafters alone, there's no statistically significant difference. Now, I apologize if I just gave you some cognitive impairment, but here's basically what we can take from the study. There is evidence that engaging in cognitively stimulating activities reduces your risk for cognitive impairment subsequently, but we really can't say anything about the timing of it, at least not yet. Now, using your brain is probably a good thing, and you should probably use your brain as much as possible throughout your life, but when you use it, you should use it for something productive like crocheting, and probably not for performing underpowered subgroup analyses. For MedPage Today, I'm Perry Wolf.